this, this is part two of the inner wheel arch and we're going to take a look at how we got it to here next bit I'm, I'm going to work on is the lower part of this wheel arch and we're going to do that by taking a template from the other side um, to get that shape right and so we'll do this bit first and then we'll move up a bit from there once we've got that bottom bit sorted so we've got that bit in place and that curves like that so with the wheel arch it also curves this way and where that black line is it's curving a bit sharper around there now um, I might have to trim it off or extend it at the end I'm not quite sure I went as close as I could so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move up to the top I'm going to fix this bit here and then I'll probably try to start moving and doing this front bit once I've done that bit of the top so we put that bad patch in place and now we're going to move down I'm not sure which bit but we're going to move down and start working on this front side of the um, inner wheel arch a slight change of plan it's a couple of days later this is the driver's side and we can see this piece here which is a nice straight piece up curved into the flange if we look on the other side and I've temporarily just with a couple of bolts fitted the wing again we can see where that would go as in here follow this line down and come up and around and then I'd need to build a flange on it so I'm going to take a template from the other side to build this bit okay I'll then do something to fill in the gap here and then we'll build this flange on for the inner wheel arch um, so that's the piece that's going to get welded in place but before we do that we're going to actually I think I'm going to try to build the lip and then the flange on it as well so I've got to clean it up and do that um, and which is going to be kind of tough because this is the reason I hadn't done it is it it curves you see um, so the fold over possibly I should have made it big enough to do it with the curve thinking about it with hindsight and I might go back and make it bigger and do it that way and then just weld on the flange um, or I might, well no, actually I'll try I'll try building in the curve now on a piece and with a flange and, and um, welding that into place the other thing I need to do is in here so I need to build up this flange I need to build up a flange down here um, and I need to cut out this metal so we're going to work next on trying to build kind of the rest of that inner wheel arch shape for that bit right, right so I've marked it on here where I need to fold up the flange okay um, and this is on the driver's side so on the other side it would be the reverse so I want it to fold towards me over the back line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try scoring along that with my um, cutter, my disc, and then bending along the cut, and then possibly adding a bit of weld just to strengthen it up a bit. So we'll have a look. It'd be an interesting thing if I'd achieved that, wouldn't it? Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but. Um, I would clearly cut all the way through in the end and just to give you an idea that's how much it's got to bend so how I was going to get this curve to bend like that I don't know so I've cut it I'll weld this piece in and then I'll cut out another piece to do this one and come in here um, and yeah that, that I think should then allow me to do it so I'm going to weld these two together first there it is, basically made up. Um, 
not I'm just holding with my finger so obviously it's going to have to push in a little bit more um, this way but that's um, hopefully will be okay it was all measured up so so it'll come across here and yeah I could feel it it was pressing against that so that should be okay um, but rest of that tomorrow we'll give it a quick coat of primer tonight actually we've got um, a bit of a hole there which we might just weld up um, a bit of primer and then on, on again tomorrow so here's the part ready to go in I just need to um, pull it out and well uh, cut some spot weld holes in it um, I have added on oh, underneath here some flanges so we've added these flanges on um, and that's and then we've marked tried to mark the back where the um, roughly where the welds need to go um, or you know kind of that region so that I can fix it along the side etc so I'm gonna drill out some holes we'll spot weld it in then we'll butt weld around here and we'll have another look and there we have it welded into place needs dressing a bit still but I'm gonna just um, try bolting on the wing loosely to make sure that still fits over all right big sigh of relief that looks like it will um, go around properly because you know it will get pushed in a bit um, so that will come in like that so that I think should be okay um, I guess I won't know until I've got it all because, to be honest, if this is, if I've got this exactly right and it's sticking out too much, I'm a bit buggered, but, but it looks okay, um, I think. I did try to make it so that it would fit inside, obviously. Anyway, right, so I'll take this wing back off again and I'm going to just keep working around the wheel, inner arch, wheel arch, is what I'm going to do. been trying to work out how to come around and do the rest of this um, wheel arch and it occurs to me I can I can get to about here because I've got the flange still here so actually possibly even all the way up here because you can see there in fact there it is all right so I can I can get up here I know how big it's meant to be so I can you know put a piece in for that but they're on um, I've got nothing okay I don't know how how big that should be so I could just continue it and try but because e even here this is a bit of a guess at the moment and really I need the rest of it on to do that so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it at this stage but I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to my current thought is I'll, I'll do this bit and get that in place and then I'll fit on the panel again and from the inside I will um, work out where the flange is so I'll, I'll use clamps to clamp it together and try to do that but I think and I haven't got it up at the moment but I th actually think that front wing doesn't even have a flange at the begin front because it's so so rusted so I'm not quite sure how far I'll get at the moment but let's have a look so this bit's not quite done, I'll, I need to weld across here, I need to just trim it here. Um, but you can see how I've done it in terms of cutting out the flange, cutting out the side. I then, it was over too tall and so I then went along cutting and welding in place. Uh, but dinner is ready and so I'm going to be stopping now and probably that means I'll stop for the night. That's what I usually do. So um, yeah, we'll do that. I think I've just realized though, when I was um, putting that on, I think I forgot 
that I've done a couple of plug welds here again, yeah, which I haven't actually welded. So I I've got to do a couple of plug welds in there still as well. Um, but that isn't too bad. You can see how far I've come. All right, and you can see how I've gone along the top. So it's smooth on this side, which is where the wheel arch will press up against it, the outer arch, the fender. Um, but a bit rough on the top where there's a bit of gap anyway. So, so I think that should be okay. Okay, it's Friday. Um, the 16th, I think. Oh, bugger. All right, it's Friday the 16th. And I've put in this piece here. But I'm getting really irritated um, because um, I'm, I've got lots of pinholes. I've been trying, trying to grind down a lot of these welds a bit more. And I'm just getting lots of pinholes and I can't see well enough in here to fix it. And then I've just noticed that this has popped loose here. Anyway, we can see it's coming around and I'm maintaining the shape. So hopefully, I was hoping to get further today, but hopefully tomorrow we'll um, work out how we do the rest of this to um, finish it off. Um, I mean, it's a bit Frankenstein, but I think I've got the shape right. And uh, I just want to weld it up a bit um, to make sure I've got no pinholes in there. Um, and I think it'll be strong. Just having a little break, break from welding and um, given the trouble I was having, we couldn't turn the engine on the one up in um, the fixed head. Um, I thought I would just quickly try this one and I have tried it and I'm looking for the um, thingy bob that goes in here that I can stick around my um, camera so I can hold it in place for you but I can't find it anywhere. It's probably somewhere amongst that mess but I'm not sure where. And it could be amongst many messes around here, so I really need to do some sorting. But I just thought I would show you back. Just thought I would sh show you if I can do this one-handed. There we go. You can see that turtle. No, I won't be able to do it now, but it's turning. It is turning. So um, good news is this engine isn't seized. So, um, that's a relief. And actually that gives me confidence that taking this up to my dad's, because um, it, it took a bit of a pressure the first time and then it just popped free. So actually I think, I think that might um, be okay. I guess we'll find out. I had a look at the video last night and realised you couldn't actually see that this was moving so I thought I'd do it again. Hopefully we'll get a better view this time. I think that shows all three are moving so happy with that and I realize it might be this that doesn't this is getting caught and that's why I couldn't tell it moving in the video so and um, there we go that's good news all right so I've been doing a bit of work trying to dress it a bit better and fill the pinholes up here. I think I've got the pinholes now, um, but I can't really dress it better than this. This little piece here is in a bit lower, so I've got it too fat here. And, um, you know, I was pretty pleased with how I'm doing, but um, I'm now disappointed with how I've done some of this bit, which compared to where I was, um, you know, even a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks even, it's coming along, but um, I'm now getting more picky. Anyway, plan here is to do this bit. So just to straight flange, um, you know, the side bit with the flange inside along here. 
and then come in and fix this. So I did this bit here. Here it is. Uh, unfortunately, I cut it to fit like this for the curve and then went and welded the flange on the wrong side. And if I try to put it on this way, the curve is um, some way off, as you can see. Now, um, I could try to force that, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, just a bit at the top, actually. Well, I wonder if I can... No, you see that? I mean, because of the bend, it's good and solid. Oh, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't, I don't fancy having to do it again. It's not the easiest bit. Be off by a little. Well, I'm going to go have a, <coughs> a, a drink and a thing to eat and a think and then come back. But, um, you know, it's coming along. It's, again, a bit Frankenstein-ish. This, I'm not really happy that I got in right, and I'm gonna have to, well, um, grind it back a bit more than that. And it's not quite level here, so I just need to trim this bit and then lift that flange in. Weld them together here. Still haven't done these holes back here. Need to press all of this in here. Got a couple of holes along here which I need to fill. Um, but overall, you know, by the end of this weekend, I should have this finished and painted, I hope, um, and looking a lot better than it did. So we can see that, that bit weld in place now. I haven't done the dressing at the bottom yet. Um, but that looks okay. So now that's going to be one or two patches in there to get rid of that rust and fit that awkward kind of shape. Um, but it's nearly there. One piece closer. So just um, this, which we will fit in here roughly and then cut to shape a bit better coming along and there it is so and um, we've got a few pinholes in I've got the lights under so I can see them um, got a number around here some of this is just rust but we've got a few here where I haven't done it very well and we've got a few up top which we didn't have before but when I tried to grind down um, so I'm now going to have a break, then I'm going to do the pinholes and the dressing at the back which I've failed to do still. Then we're going to take a wire wheel to it to clean it all out and then we're going to paint it with hammerite. Now once it's been painted, I probably need to clean the underside as well so I can paint under there as well in hammerite. But once I've painted it I'm then going to actually put um, I've got some seam sealer stuff um, if I can find it quickly. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some of that brushable seam sealer along the seams at the top, but after it's been painted, I think. I'll read that to see if it says to put it on first or not. Um, and then we'll be well, we might do a test fit, but we'll be done. Right, okay, okay, so I've spot welded everything up as well, so I've done the top there. I was going to, if I painted, I wanted to take this, these bits off. Um, but my spot welder, or spot drill bit, snapped. I've never actually had to change it. I'm trying to unscrew it and I can't, so if there's a trick to getting this off, can someone let me know? Or it might be that I've just jammed it on through so much use. But if there's a trick, please let me know. So that, that's it painted. Um, 
pretty happy actually. Um, you know, it's a bit Frankenstein still, but it's getting better. Um, um, I might have one or two little pinholes in there which worries me and so I need to go through it when it's dark and just well I'm going to seam seal it anywhere I see anything now um, I hope that'll be okay um, but it's certainly better than it was um, I do need to test putting the wing back on but I'm going to do that another day I've got a huge amount of clearing to do and I'm going to clear up so that it's tidy for tomorrow and I haven't decided I might have a break from welding again and bodywork because this is quite a big job I might do something else I haven't quite decided <laughs>